As the new year approaches, Disney rival fires Johnny Depp. Hollywood is known for praising Johnny Depp as a very brilliant and adaptable actor. Even if you don't like the movie, every character he has played in a film is a masterpiece. He has played countless roles in a variety of cinema genres. Depp has portrayed a variety of characters over the years, including Ichabod Crane in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Disney, Edward and Edward Scissorhands, Willy Wonka and Charlie in The Chocolate Factory, Sweeney Todd, the psychotic barber Donnie Brasco in the movie Donnie Brasco, and even Victor in Corpse Bride. Netflix, a competitor to Disney Plus' S streaming service, will remove two Johnny Depp movies from its lineup this weekend, giving fans just a few days to watch the flicks before they vanish. The decision to remove all of Johnny Depp's filmography from Netflix's streaming library reportedly infuriated Depp fans who were also Netflix customers in December 2020. It was clear to subscribers that all movies starring the talented actor had been completely removed from Netflix's American library, even though they were still available outside of the country, even though the streaming service never made any official statements about whether or not such a decision was based on Depp's legal issues with ex-wife Amber Heard. It wasn't apparent at the time if the removal of the movies was a reaction to Depp losing his libel case just a few weeks earlier, or if the action was accidental and a result of the platform's normal rotation of movies. The removal of the Depp film titles was part of Netflix's standard cycling of titles in and out of their library, according to What's on Netflix, a fan site for Netflix subscribers. It also stated that the rumors that the removal of the films was related to the Depp heard libel drama were in fact false and had been started by Johnny Depp fans themselves. However, this weekend, Netflix will take two more Johnny Depp movies off the service, Chocolat 2000 and Blow 2001. Fans of the actor can still watch Depp's murder drama Donnie Brasco, which also stars Al Pacino in The Late Anne Hetch. It wasn't apparent at the time if the removal of the movies was a reaction to Depp losing his libel case just a few weeks earlier or if the action was accidental and a result of the platform's normal rotation of movies. The removal of the Depp film titles was part of Netflix's standard cycling of titles in and out of their library, according to What's on Netflix, a fan site for Netflix subscribers. It also stated that the rumors that the removal of the films was related to the Depp heard libel drama were in fact false, and had been started by Johnny Depp fans themselves. However, this weekend, Netflix will take two more Johnny Depp movies off the service, Chocolat 2000 and Blow 2001. Fans of the actor can still watch Depp's murder drama Donnie Brasco, which also stars Al Pacino in The Late Anne Hetch.